Ever felt like you're stuck in a job that doesn't spark joy? Or perhaps you're searching for a job that allows you to work from anywhere, anytime? Welcome to the flexible world of freelancing, a realm where your office could be a beach in Bali, a coffee shop in Copenhagen, or the comfort of your own living room. Freelancing is the epitome of a work-life balance. It's a lifestyle that allows you to be your own boss, set your own rates, and work on projects that truly ignite your passion. But let's not sugarcoat it. Freelancing is not all rainbows and unicorns. It comes with its fair share of challenges. Finding consistent work, negotiating fair rates, and managing your time effectively can often feel like a juggling act. But with the right skills, a dash of determination, and a sprinkle of resilience, these challenges can be navigated successfully. In this video, we'll be focusing on three specific freelancing niches that are in high demand, freelance writing, graphic design, and virtual assistants. Freelance writing is all about creating compelling content. Whether it's blog posts, articles, or social media content, a freelance writer crafts words that engage, inform, and inspire readers. Next, we have graphic design. This is where art meets function. As a freelance graphic designer, your role is to create visual concepts that inspire, inform, or captivate consumers. You'll be the one to shape the visual aspects of websites, books, magazines, product packaging, exhibitions, and more. Last, but certainly not least, is the role of a virtual assistant. As a VA, you'll provide administrative services to clients while operating outside of the client's office. This could include tasks like scheduling appointments, making phone calls, making travel arrangements, and managing email accounts. So, are you curious yet? Eager to set your own schedule, determine your own income, and choose your own projects? Ready to dive into the world of freelancing? Let's start exploring these niches. Got a knack for weaving words into engaging stories? Freelance writing might be your perfect match. So you've decided to dip your toes into the realm of freelance writing. That's fantastic, but where do you start? Let's break it down step by step. First things first, you've got to hone your writing skills. You're a wordsmith, remember? Whether you're a novice or a seasoned writer, there's always room for improvement. Read extensively, play with words, understand the rhythm and flow of language, explore different genres and styles, and most importantly, write every day. Your craft only gets better with practice. Next, you need to build a portfolio. It's like your writer's resume, showcasing your talent and versatility. Start with writing samples. They could be blog posts, articles, or even snippets from your personal journal. If you're just starting out, don't fret about not having published work yet. Your portfolio is about quality, not quantity. Over time, as you land writing gigs and gain more experience, keep updating your portfolio with your best work. Speaking of gigs, let's talk about how to find them. There's a myriad of platforms online where businesses and individuals are seeking freelance writers. Websites like Upwork, Fiverr, and Problogger are just a few. Pitch your services, bid on projects, and don't be disheartened by rejections. They're part and parcel of the freelance journey. Now, on to managing your time and finances. As a freelancer, you're your own boss. It's liberating but also requires discipline. Set a schedule, stick to deadlines, and always prioritize your tasks. When it comes to finances, get comfortable with negotiating rates, invoicing clients, and keeping track of your income and expenses. It may seem daunting at first, but it's all part of being a successful freelance writer. Last but not least, remember to take care of yourself. Freelancing can be a solitary pursuit, so make time for breaks, socializing, and self-care. Remember, as a freelance writer, your words are your currency. Invest in them wisely. If you can visualize ideas and bring them to life, you might want to consider freelance graphic design. This realm of freelancing is a vibrant, ever-evolving field that allows for a dynamic blend of creativity and technical prowess. So how does one dive into the world of freelance graphic design? The first step is to become proficient in the necessary design software. Popular tools of the trade include Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign. It's not just about knowing how to use these tools, but mastering them to the point where you can seamlessly manifest your creative visions. There are countless resources available online, from tutorials to full-blown courses, that can guide you on this journey. Once you've equipped yourself with the right skill set, it's time to create a compelling portfolio. This is your calling card, your visual resume, a showcase of everything you can do. Your portfolio should highlight your versatility and creativity, featuring a range of styles and mediums. It should tell a story, your story, as a designer. With a robust portfolio in hand, the next step is to find design projects. 
there are numerous platforms online like Upwork or Fiverr where you can bid for freelance projects. But don't limit yourself to just these. Reach out to local businesses, network with other professionals, and don't shy away from cold emailing potential clients. Remember, every successful freelancer started somewhere. Now let's talk about dealing with clients. This is where your communication skills come into play. It's crucial to understand your client's vision, their brand, and their target audience. Always maintain a professional, respectful relationship, and remember that constructive criticism is a part of growth. And finally, it's essential to remember that as a freelance graphic designer, your creativity is not just a tool, but your biggest asset. It's what sets you apart and makes your work unique. Nurture it, invest time in it, let it evolve and grow. Keep exploring new ideas, styles, and techniques. Never stop learning, because in this field, there's always something new around the corner. As a freelance graphic designer, your creativity is your biggest asset. Nurture it, and it will pay dividends. Are you organized, detail-oriented, and enjoy helping others? Virtual assistants could be your freelancing forte. It's a dynamic role that requires a multitude of skills, but most importantly, it's about offering value. Let's explore the steps to becoming a successful virtual assistant. First things first, identify your skill set. What are you good at? Perhaps you're a spreadsheet whiz or a communication guru. Or maybe you have a knack for managing schedules or handling customer service. Whatever your skills may be, make sure they align with the needs of potential clients. Remember, being a virtual assistant isn't just about ticking boxes. It's about using your skills to provide real value. Next, set up your home office. This doesn't require a high-rise building or a swanky desk. A quiet space with a stable internet connection and a reliable computer will do the trick. Consider investing in noise-canceling headphones for those times when concentration is key. And don't forget about software. Familiarize yourself with tools like Google Workspace, project management apps, and communication platforms. These will be your bread and butter as a virtual assistant. Now on to the big question, where to find clients? Start by reaching out to your network. Let them know you're offering virtual assistant services. Join online communities, participate in forums, and sign up on freelancing websites. Make sure to craft a compelling pitch that highlights your skills and experiences. And always remember, persistence pays off. Once you've landed a client, the real work begins. Managing your workload effectively is crucial. Use project management tools to keep track of tasks and deadlines. Stay proactive and communicate regularly with your client. And most importantly, always deliver quality work. Being a virtual assistant is not just about doing tasks. It's about being a reliable partner to your clients, helping them succeed in their goals. It's about providing value, solving problems, and making a difference. So if you're organized, love helping others, and have a can-do attitude, why not give virtual assistants a shot? Being a virtual assistant is about providing value. The more you can offer, the more you'll succeed. Freelancing can be a rewarding journey, but it's not without its challenges. We've delved into the diverse world of freelancing, exploring three unique niches, freelance writing, graphic design, and virtual assistants. Each of these areas offers its own distinct opportunities and hurdles, but a few key points stand as common ground. In the realm of freelance writing, we've seen the importance of honing your writing skills and developing a strong, versatile voice. Whether you're crafting engaging blog posts or persuasive sales copy, your words are your most powerful tool. But it's not just about writing. Building a robust portfolio is crucial to showcasing your talents and securing new clients. Remember, your work speaks for you when you're not there to do the talking. Moving on to graphic design, it's clear that this is a field where creativity meets technical skill. Mastering design software is a given, but understanding the principles of good design, that's what sets you apart. As with writing, a comprehensive portfolio is key. It's your visual resume, the tangible proof of what you can bring to the table. Then we have virtual assistants, a rapidly expanding field in the freelancing world. Here, organization and time management are king. As a virtual assistant, you're the backbone of someone else's business operations. Your ability to manage tasks efficiently and effectively can make or break your success in this role. Don't underestimate the power of a well-organized schedule and a to-do list that's always up to date. Across all these niches, there's one overarching theme, continuous learning and skill building. In the ever-evolving freelance market, staying ahead of the curve is vital. 
Whether it's brushing up on SEO best practices for your writing, learning the latest design trends, or familiarizing yourself with new project management tools for virtual assistants, never stop growing. So are you ready to embrace the freedom and flexibility of freelancing? The world is your office.